Well, what's going on, YouTube? This is What Would Josh Do? And this is a super, super exciting video because I got the 110 watt solar panel. This one right here that's been featured in a few of my videos. This is the 110 watt EcoFlow panel. And uh, it's been great, except it requires the case to stand it up. You have to use the little hooks, use the case. It's a whole process in order to get it to like sit up. And usually I just lay it flat, which there are some advantages, like on the roof of a car, for example, it is a lot easier to lay it flat than it is to stand it up. 110 watts is only if things are in perfect conditions. If I'm trying to charge something at 100 watts, a 220 watt panel can get to 100 watts easier than a 110 watt panel. So simple math. And the voltages on this were perfect for nearly 100% of my devices that have an XT60 input. So this is the one I got. Plus it is a newer panel and I've only been able to locate about two videos of people with this newer panel. This is a newer one because the sun can reflect off the front and the back of it. And it has built in stand so you don't need to use a case. I've literally only been able to find like about two videos of this exact panel on YouTube, so I figured I would add my video to the mix. You open it up, you flip the legs out, you set the strap to how far back you want the strap, and then there you go, you benefit from the sun. And here's some information on the side of the panel, such as the model number, the EF Fold G220-04, or the SKU, which is the EF SOLAR 220-N. All right, let's open this sucker up. We've got some uh, EcoFlow generators we're gonna use, such as the 2 Pro and the 2, because the 2 Pro can charge at 200 watts. So I currently have it literally powering stuff right now so that I can uh, get the battery down on it and make a video. Yeah, I literally leave for work soon. And yeah, whenever I make a video right before work, it's something that I'm super excited about and I cannot wait to get the video out there. So, oh. all right, and then way down here at the bottom of the box, at the very, very bottom, is the accessories. And also it looks like an instruction booklet or something. 12 month warranty. I feel like 12 months isn't that long for something like this. Just being honest, you know, but, all right, so, got some protective things. Let's go over the box with the goodies in it. It's got an easy to peel tab here to get that out. We got some food for your friends. No, I'm just kidding. Don't do that. And then we have the XT60 to MC4, or MC4 to XT60, however you want to say that. It's actually a pet peeve of mine when I go to the store and I see USB-C to USB-A. Like, no, 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 no. That's USB-A to USB-C. Get it, get it right, get it straight. There you go, you got your positive and your negative, and you got your XT60. And then here we've got this little handle that can uh, do this little number and seal it up. But we're gonna open it up, so we're gonna do the opposite. So this time around, the case isn't necessarily mandatory, it's just there to protect it because this panel is a different uh, texture than the other one, so. All right, we got some things here to protect the cables, I guess. I don't know, keep them neat and organized. Then we have the actual panel. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. This is my money. I bought this on uh, Prime Day for $349. This is my money, I bought this. And let me tell you that when I bought this, I was considering the Anchor 200 watt, but this is technically a newer panel, I think, than that one, and it can do both sides. So if you put it on snow, for example, you'll get a really good solar input during the, if it's on snow. So this is exciting. Let's open this thing up. Uh, oh, it's got like some zip ties here to keep it all. So in some ways, this one is awesome because it's meant to be stood up. It's got these like legs here. But in the other ways, you know, it's like you can't. It's not really designed to lay down. Oh, it's got tape here to pull. And then it's got some on this side. Oh, they really did not want this thing opening up at all. Oh man, that is crazy. Oh yeah, oh yeah. And then you've got the little sundial thing here. 
It shows you the sun. It'll have a reflection of the little dot, and you'll be able to see whether you're in ideal conditions or not, which is exciting. We got a protective little film here. And then we have another one. That is a big panel. We're gonna have to take this thing outside in order to show you guys just how big this thing is. But uh, yeah, that is beyond exciting. So yeah, see, look, there's a panel right here, and then there's a panel right here. <laughs> oh my gosh. This is so exciting. Let's, uh... Okay, yeah, so you'll want to keep that little sleeve so you can easily carry it around because, uh, you don't want to damage this thing. It's got a panel on both sides, essentially. Now let's disconnect this. I'm so excited to go outside and play with this thing. Alrighty, let's do this side now. I don't have any big, giant uh, things yet, like the EcoFlow Delta Pro or Ultra or plus or anything so you know ideally if you have something like that go big you know if you're gonna go go big go get the 400 watt i literally don't have anything that would accept 400 watts that is uh eagle flow or anchor right now so this is perfect because my river 2 pro will accept 200 watts all right let's take this thing outside and uh i'll use my phone to record the rest of this video all right so we're on our balcony here our ac just kicked on unfortunately we're gonna make this work. So we're gonna plug this in and uh, we're gonna see what we see on here. So the panel currently is shaded like no other. I need to move it back actually. All right, so now it's a little less shaded. This whole side is shaded. But we're getting 62 watts. So obviously my balcony is not getting the most sun right now, but we'll go out in the actual sun and see what happens when the full panel can get some sun on it. All right, so we're outside now. We got the panel fully, 100% in the sun. And uh, I haven't quite figured out the straps yet. They're kind of uh, difficult in my opinion. There's gotta be a way to do it, but I haven't quite figured it out. They're nice. It's way better than before because I never went through the trouble of, of, of setting up the case. I just never did. It was just way too much work to set it up temporarily for a video or something. But with this, this is much better, much better. Now let's take our unit here, which is at 66%, and let's plug in the back with the solar here. All right, let's plug this in. Maybe <laughs> if I get the right, there we go. All right, so that's plugged in. And let's see what we see. Now this side isn't really getting sun. Why is it taking so long? What happened? Maybe it's not plugged in all the way. Oh, it's not plugged in all the way. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> uh, <laughs> that was, that's kind of funny actually. All right, so that's an improvement over, you know, 80 watts from the, what I'm used to seeing on this thing. So 150, that's pretty fantastic. And we're definitely not in ideal conditions. And the sun is more facing like that way. And we have it not in the best. I'm gonna move it real quick. Alrighty, so we moved it. And look at that. <laughs> the car makes a surprise little appearance in the background there. But we have it now in much more ideal conditions. Cause look at this, look at this. 195, that is a significant upgrade from the 100 and like 50 or 160 or whatever it was just a moment ago. So we're at 67% battery and it says it's gonna take one hour to charge. Obviously can't show the minutes either, but uh, if we have the app, which I'm recording right now, uh, then we could see exactly how much time, but uh, this is absolutely fantastic. 194 watts input. That is pretty much a maxed out charge. And let's see what the little sundial thing says. So if you can see that, the sun, oh, it's all, it, it's it's not perfectly in there, but it's it's in there. Wow. Let me play with that, see if I can get it perfect. I tried, I think it's a tiny bit better. I did peek over here and I saw that it was at 196 after I adjusted it and then the sun kind of went down a little bit. Now it's at 193. But still, that is beyond exciting because 100 watts is great, right? Like it's absolutely better than not having any input at all. Especially if you find yourself out in the woods, survival, you know, military, like uh, out in the field or you know somewhere where there's just no power at all. 
100 watts is better than nothing. But 200 watts opens the door substantially. Because if you're running a 100 watt load, like to say a, a laptop, for example, which can draw 100 watts, or maybe a portable gaming system like the RGLIX, you're drawing 100 watts from this battery in here, but you're inputting 200. So now you are actually charging the battery at a good rate. Now, if you were drawing 100 watts from the unit and only putting in 100 watts, you're basically, you know, you're not charging the battery at all in here. It is neutral. It's, it's, <laughs> but now since we are compensating, we're putting in more than we are taking out. That is absolutely fantastic. All right, let's go get other things and try other things. Cause this is my only unit I can think of that'll charge at this speed. All right, we back, we back. So this one's at 87%. I didn't have as much time to drain this one, which I was trying to, but this time we'll actually plug it into the correct port here. <laughs> oh my gosh. And we'll see what we see. Wow, okay, so that's fantastic. And that's exactly what I'm talking about. We do have ideal sun conditions, as you saw, we just charged the other one 200 watts. But if we did not, we would have, like earlier, you saw like 150, 160, whatever that number was, this thing would be topped out because obviously it's topped out at 110. That's all it can do. But this is fantastic because we don't have to have perfect ideal conditions to get 200 watts. We don't have to. Since we can only do 110 watts, the panel only needs to be half efficient to produce that much. Now, 110 watt panel, you have to have absolutely perfect conditions. And I don't think it's possible to get 110 watts out of a 110 watt panel. There's just no, it's just, I don't think it's possible. You're gonna get probably anywhere from 80 to close to 100 with ideal conditions. And with less than ideal conditions, you're getting, you know, 40, 50, 60 watts or something. This thing uh, will have a much easier time reaching the 110, obviously. So, wow, that is absolutely fantastic. 110 watts of input, 17 minutes until it's charged. Fan-freaking-tastic, okay. So now what about this guy, right? This thing, this is the proper voltage, but amps, I'm not sure. It just says 11 to 28 volts. So this thing can do 100 watts input, but the problem is I've never seen it charge at 100 watts using solar. So what if we connect in this? Look at that. Freak yeah! That's an easy 100 watts for the input. And once again, we don't have to have perfect sun because we're not dealing with a panel that can only do this at its maximum best 100% efficiency. This is, <laughs> this is so exciting. I'm just, I'm tickled. Okay, now for the last test, this guy right here, this one has the AC in, or outputs right here. So let's we'll switch it from type C to solar and we'll see what we see here. So look at that, 93 watts. We are absolutely maxing out what this thing can input at, which is freaking awesome. And I didn't realize the River 2 could do 110 watts. I thought it was just 100. That's even better. <laughs> That's so exciting. So exciting. All right. Well, that wraps up this video. I hope that you enjoyed it. I hope that maybe this helped you consider whether or not you're going to pick up this panel or the one that uses the case. I think this is a better option. At any time you can get some reflection from the back onto the panels on the other side, you're going to get even more efficiency even more sun so you can't do that with other panels right now this obviously they will do that but right now this is your choice this is freaking fantastic i think with the uh, 100 watt panel i was getting this thing to charge at like 70 80 watts this is this is ideal this is maxed out input can't go any faster than that unless you use the ac on the side here or you use the 140 watt input if you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. I'd greatly appreciate it. If you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing. Please follow me on Twitter and Instagram. This is what we Josh do. And I'm out and I gotta go to work. I'll edit this video when I get off work today.